वेलकम बैक टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एंड मेजरमेंट इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव कवर्ड अबाउट द एरर्स एसोसिएटेड विद द मेजरमेंट देन वी हैव कवर ऑफ पीएमएमसी इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स मूविंग आयरन टाइप ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स देन इन दिस लेक्चर वी हैव गोइंग टू दिस डिस्कस अबाउट द डिस्प्ले डिवाइसेस when displaying large quantity of alpha numeric data the read out system must be employed the most commonly is a familiar crt conventionally crt crt full form of the crt is cathode ray tube there is some difference between the cathode ray tube and cathode ray oscilloscope so it is uh, i am discussing about the cathode ray tube so conventionally crt form the basis of the cro and tv system to generate characteristics on the crt the generation system of the character on the crt requires relatively simple electronic circuitry actually crt is the first display device we are using so and it is very popular at the time when analog devices are used a typical crt display has EG facility for control the control of digit size by controlling reflection sensitivity of the system for the reflection we use either electromagnetic or electrostatic reflection the number of character display can be changed with the help of time shear reflection and modular circuit so see here once the size of the character and the number of the character both we are, we have control for the size of the character we can control by size of the character can be changed by changing reflection sensitivity for we for reflection sensitivity we use electromagnetic or electrostatic reflection similarly the number of the character we use time shear reflection and modulator circuit so that that is the basically feature of a cathode ray tube so what the character size and number of the character both can be controlled by the some electronic circuit then important the intensity and brightness can be realized with different gray scale and the display can have different color depending on the phosphor used in the screen generally the phosphor is chosen to be white or green generally but today there are large number of color is available but primarily there are only two color white or green storage type crt facilitated storing a stationary pattern on the screen even actually in the case of digital storage oscilloscope we have the provision of the storing of what are the curve is display on the screen so that is called a storage type crt without flickering display and it is possible flickering is just uh, change in the intensity of the display and it is possible to retain the pattern for long time independent of the phosphor persistence so it is not depend upon what is the persistence of the material it means the phosphor used once we have stored we stored it is for long time so then we are moving on what are the digital, digital display system because crt is an analog system in the case of digital dis di display system rapid growth of electronic handling of numerical data has brought up it a great demand for simple system to display data in a read readily understandable form that is actually one of the requirement that we store the data and also display in the data on the screen in a form that is readable to large number of the person for example if you going to any railway station airport or any public place large number of the information is display on the screen and it is display in such a manner that it is a readable from a long distance and it is in an appropriate manner So that is the basically requirement during handling of the data. It is basically part of the handling of the data. How we handle the data, how we store this particular data that is generated in any experiment or any any work, 
and how the data is displayed so that people can draw conclusion. So the display device provides a visual display of number, letter and symbol in, in response to the electrical input and serve as a constituent of an electronic display system. So that is the basically function of the display device to provide visual display of any number, letter and symbol. Then we move to the next topic that is the classification of the display. So the commonly the first display is CRT, cathode ray tube, we have already know what are the basics. Then the next display is the light emitting diode that is called the LED, very popular display you know about LCD TV, LED TV. Third is the LCD liquid crystal display, the next is the gas discharge plasma display, third is, uh, next is electroluminance, luminescent display, then incandescent display. A better phosphoric image display, then the liquid vapor display, these are the future technology. So in general, display are class classified in number of the way as follows. These, these are the some of the classification. Then some more classification. So if you classify the display on the method of conversion of electrical data into visible light. How we convert the electrical data into the visible light, then the display is called active display. Active display example, what are the example of the active display? Light emitter, incandescent, that is due to temperature, luminance, that is due to the non-thermal means, are physiothermal and gas discharge glow of light around the cathode. These are basically light emitter, in the incandescence, luminance, physiothermal. Then CRT, gas discharge plasma. LED, these are the basically uh, type of the active display. Active display is on the matter of conversion of electrical light into the visible data. Then we move next type of display that is called passive display. display. For example, light controllers, LCD, see here, LED is the active display, LCD is the passive display. That why LED TV is more popular than LCD TV and the life of the LED TV is large in comparison to the life of the LCD TV, LED TV the quality picture quality is better than LCD, so the, see here there is a difference, one is called active display and another is the passive display, then EPD, ID display and so on. So these are the some display, then we move to the next type of the classification, it depends upon the application, then in the basis of the application, one is the analog display and so one is the digital display. So in an analog display we have the bar graph display that is the CRT you have seen in the different uh, in the laboratory we are using the CRO that is the basically analog device. In the laboratory you also see in the digital storage oscilloscope that have the digital display it, it has alphanumeric, LED, NHCs etc. So they, these are the sum of the display that is uh, available. So the first set is according to the conversion of electrical data into the visible light. Second set is on the application. Third set is according to the display size. Pella symbolic display, then alphanumeric, Nexic tube, LED, etc. If you have required a console display, because the display size is decided, then the CRT and LED are again used. It means LED used for symbol display and console display both. Then the large screen, screen display and large projection system. Just you see the projector, this is a very similar type of the some projection system. If you want to increase the screen size instead of using some CRO, LED, LCD, you use the projector. So that is also a type of display. Then according to the display format, direct view type, meaning flat part, planar and non-planar. So it is, it is a flat panel, then it is segmented dot matrix CRT. If it is stacked electrode non-planar type, that is the next series. Then in terms of resolution and legibility of the character, then simple single element indicator first. Second, multi-element indicator. So it may if you classify the display, 
simple in the market we have seen crt cro lc crt led lcd and uh, end lvd el display but that is a simple classification second if we classify, if we classify according to the conversion of electrical data to visible light then there are two type of display active and passive if we classify the display on the basis of the application, then again only two type of display and log and display. If we classify according to the display size, then there is three type of the display, symbolic display, console display and large screen display. If we classify according to the display format, then the direct view type and stack electrode non-planar type. Then FIP if in terms of if we classify the display in terms of resolution and legibility of the character then again two types of display simple single element indicator second it is the multi element indicator that is all about a different type of the display that is all about this lecture in the next lecture we have a discuss about liquid crystal display actually in your syllabus one in the class uh, syllabus covered classification of the display, then LCD and LED only. So I'm already covered classification, direct class classification, then on the application of the uh, different uh, on the basis of the different application, what are the classification of the display? I'm already discussed these two part. Then only two part is left. One is LCD and another one is LED. So in the next lecture, we have again discussed the LCD display.